<clears throat> Paid my dues in a few restaurants in Canada. Started in Kitchener Waterloo, which is my hometown, and uh, ended up moving to Toronto so I could go to George Brown Culinary School. I uh, was a part of opening several restaurants in Toronto as well as working at a few other uh, larger establishments. And then uh, basically I ended up working for a company that uh, does some stuff down here and when the opportunity came up I couldn't pass on it. So all of our seafood that we have here we source locally uh, as much as possible. But everything that's on the menu can be sourced from the island. So all of our lobster comes from here uh, as well as our tuna, snapper, things like that. One of the dishes you're going to see is our tuna and foie gras dish, which is sort of a, a, a twist on just a regular seared tuna. So we do like an espalette pepper crust on the tuna with a little bit of chorizo and potato hash. And then because the yellowfin tuna that we get on the island lacks the fat, put a piece of foie gras on top and it gives it that, that richness. We serve the whole thing with a, with a bright orange chili oil just to, just to make the plate pop. Um, as well, we sort of do a, an international blend of the food here. Our chicken dish right now is actually one of my favorites, and it's sort of a jambalaya style dish, but instead of using rice, we use orzo, which is a pasta that's shaped like a rice. It's, it's, there's a ton of it on your plate, and it comes with okra, which we source from North Caicos, um, and it's some of the best produce I've ever seen in my life comes yeah, off that nice island. And fresh, nice and exactly. Fresh. Uh, and a nice piece of brined, uh, organic, free range chicken with fried kale. And so the dish sort of works as like a southern states style Louisiana dish, real Cajun seasonings. And then as well, our uh, lobster pasta, which is all of our pasta we make uh, by hand in house. Uh, and so our uh, linguine that we use for that one is actually, was actually made only a few hours ago, the one you're going to eat. And so it's very fresh. Uh, and the lobster tail was caught think just this morning. So uh, every, everything comes very fresh here. Down here the seasons aren't as different as they are back home in Canada. True, very true. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, in the summertime in Canada you don't get a lot of butternut squash. But here squash is all year. And the seasons, you know, our, our days get shorter but the weather doesn't really change that much. So uh, we're going to try to focus on what we can do seasonally mm -hmm. so that we can make those small changes so that it's a little more appropriate to the time of the year. The thing about living here is that you actually live constantly in someone else's vacation True. right like even when like in July the island was still really busy so that pretty much triples the population of the island 30,000 people live here there'd be 90,000 people on the island 60,000 of them are on vacation so everybody else is sort of you're stuck you're stuck sort of somewhere between like like I would meet some guests and they'd be like oh it's nice talking to you maybe we'll catch up later we'll catch a drink when you're done your shift tonight and I'd go sit down and have a drink with them and then also they want to go out and party and I've had four drinks so I can't stop it and then it's, you know, 3.30 in the morning, and you're like, well, breakfast starts at 6, so... <laughs> you, you live in someone else's vacation. Thank you, Chef Justin. I had a great time. The food is amazing. We're here at the Pavilion Restaurant in the beautiful islands of Turks and Caicos, and you're watching Caribbean Migration.